What up, Geminites? It's your boy, Gem Mint. Back at you with another omnibus haul. Kind of a light haul today, but still worth taking a look at, so stay tuned. All right, guys, just a three-book haul today. Uh, I picked up this Adventures of the X-Men. It's like the X-Men animated series comic book version. And I didn't notice that this one and the Spider-Man animated series comic are shorter. They're smaller than trade paperbacks. Almost more like the size of a manga. But I picked this up. Collects uh, Adventures of X-Men 1 through 6. Adventures of Spider-Man 3. I guess there's a tie-in because the Spider-Man one had an X-Men one too. So based off of the animated series artwork. Some of it does look a little bit uh, a step up above the animated series. But um, I guess because it's comic book form. But just something fun I figured I'd pick up and show you guys and... Maybe I'll give it a read sooner or later. But let's take a look at it. Alright, so the X-Men... Uh, Alright, so the Adventures of X-Men trade paperback. Same size as the Spider-Man one from one of my uh, recent hauls. And here's what it looks like next to like a regular size trade paperback. So you can see they're smaller, almost like little handbooks. Alright, Clear and Present Dangers. This has a $13 cover price and you can see animated series style. Gene and the Sentinels. But see, the comics start to look a little bit... A little bit different from the show. A little bit more detailed. Maybe the style is also a little bit different. The Spider-Man tie-in looks more cartoonish. And I guess so does this issue. But it should be a fun little nostalgic read. All right, next up, we got the Silver Surfer Parable. This is the Stan Lee Mobius collaboration, two-issue run. I remember seeing these issues when I used to hunt in long boxes at my like local comic shops. And, you know, I, I remember seeing them, but I never picked them up. And I remember, like, when I would look uh, for Silver Surfer GPA values, like, it would always throw me off because I, I'm pretty sure they collected these issues as volume two. So, like, if I was looking for, like, the 60s Silver Surfer run or, like, the 90s run, I would always accidentally click Volume 2, and I would just have these two issues, which are not really valuable. I recently learned about Mobius when I got put on to the Incal by Mobius and Hordowski, uh, and I really did like Mobius' style. And lately, I feel like I see his stuff all the time now. What's cool about this book is that... Um, it's not a dust jacket that's holding this together. It's a poster. So that's pretty sick, actually. Um, I guess let's unfold it. So on the one side, you get like the front cover from issue one. And on the back... You get a bunch of different Mobius uh, pieces that he did. That Spider-Man one is actually my current phone background. You got the Iron Man one, a bunch of different ones. I cannot believe I got this together the right way. <laughs> anyway, so the front and the back is just kind of... it's. Bigger than an oversized hardcover, bigger than an omnibus. I mean, let's put them up side by side here. You can see. So this should be a cool, fun read. I think I'll knock this out real quick. I'll probably read it with Fee, and we'll do a little review on it. Just Wow, yeah, let's look at the artwork real quick. It looks really cool. All right, then we have this oversized book for the Silver Surfer Mobius. It's got like a traditional white marble spine. Very cool image on the back here. And the artwork looks like what you would expect from Mobius. It looks very uh, Incal looking. A little Silver Surfer sketch. Parable. Stan Lee is the artist. The introduction. That's pretty cool. This looks interesting, man.
Last up, we got Cable and the X-Force Omnibus. This collects X-Force 32 through 43 with Annual 3. Then it has Cable issues 9 through 20. New Warriors 45 and 46. X-Factor 106, Excalibur 82, and Wolverine 85. Those last issues uh, help the collect the uh, storyline for the uh, Phalex Covenant, which there is an oversized hardcover for. Wow, I have this still sealed. This, what does this collect? Okay, this has the Uncanny X-Men issues, 306, 311 through 314, and then 317 through 316. Collects Excalibur. 78 through 82 so i guess this has like some more lead up issues x-men 36 and 37 x-factor 106 which double dips x-force 38 and wolverine 85 with cable 16 so a little bit of double dipping here anyway this has some uh, some good writers on it fabian decisia jeff loeb got glenn uh hurdling jim krueger scott lobdell and larry hama illustrated by tony daniel steve scrolls paul Pelletier, Mike Waringo, and some others. Some white spine action. The uh, actual cover is a wraparound cover, which is very cool. It's kind of cool to get uh, these cable issues collected and also continuing to collect X-Force. I mean, this is cable and the X-Force. So I think what I'll do is in every X-Force omnibus release so far, because with Deadpool and the X-Force, with X-Force Volume 1, with ecstatics we're, we're starting to build that run so maybe i'll do a video on that like right after i shoot this all right and for the omnibus we have the dust jacket here cyclops wolverine cable white spine you have the issues on the back 100 dollar cover price i got it for 50 bucks off instocktrades.com a little something about the creators Dope hardcover, you also get, uh, I guess, Cable again, <laughs> Jean Grey. So 90s X-Force are in writing. I'm sure we're going to see a lot of pouches, a lot of big guns. But this is like my era of comics that I grew up with, man. Mutants were powers were at an all-time high Got some Omega red action going on Just flipping through the artwork for y'all. Alright guys, so that's the haul video for today. Normally I would save a smaller haul like this for later on, but I'm not really sure there's much coming out this month. Uh, so I figured, you know, we might as well show them while we got them. Let me know what you guys think about the books in the comments below. Drop that like on the way out and make sure to subscribe to the channel. We drop daily content. We're going to have a lot of San Diego Comic Con content coming up next week. Hit that bell so you get those notifications and stay minty fresh. Peace.